Hi friend. Today's gonna be more like a public service announcement. Maybe sort of like a product review. Um, we're gonna talk about protecting our ears at work. Uh, I wanted to do this a while back and I've been putting it off and uh, I may have been doing you a disservice by that. Uh, I'm gonna give you some ideas of what I've done at work and I'm really going to encourage you from now on to wear your hearing protection at work. Some people just don't bother with it and uh, when you get to be older, it can really catch up to you. Uh, so if that sounds good, why don't you stick around? I know a lot of my friends at work, uh, they, they work in a noisy environment and they always say the same thing to me. Oh, I just don't think about it. It doesn't really bother me that much. It's additive though. You have to realize that when you are constantly in a noisy environment, that part of your hearing that you hear all day, every day, is going to eventually wear out. And it's just damage to your hearing. And if music is as important to you as it is to me, I think you should do something about it. Um, not getting preachy here, I hope, but, and I believe at the workplace, it is required for the employer to provide some kind of hearing protection in a noisy environment. Um, so I'm gonna go through a few things, uh, what I use and what I have used in the past that have helped. And we'll just go through them and if you have any ideas, that, that would be appreciated if you post them down in the comments below. Now, I've pr purchased every one of these products. They were not given as a promotion or anything. Uh, so everything I say is going to be my own opinion. I'm not being colored by a gift. Uh, I, sometimes I kind of distrust reviews that the person doing the review was given the product. I also have heard of people that have a job of reviewing products and that just gets under my skin a little bit. So what I'm going to do is show you what I've used. I'm going to start from what I started with and then move through the steps that I've taken through the years. Um, first of all, I've always used these squishies. These are the Flents brand, F-L-E-N-T-S. And they say they reduce sound pressure levels by 33 decibels. It's quite a bit, um, and they do work. So when I first started out, I've used these. You, you roll them in your fingers, you put them in your ear, and let them expand. If you put them in, you pull your ear back like this, and wiggle them in there. And when it expands, it really cuts out a lot of the, the noise. Um, the problem with that is that I was never able to listen to music or uh, podcasts, what I do a lot. I was never able to listen to them with this because that's just noise suppression. So what I did was all my friends recommended, recommended work tunes. I believe it's by 3M. And you see, I wear glasses. So, and if you're not wearing glasses or some kind of goggles to protect your eyes, that's another thing you have to make sure you do. When you put headphones on, this temple bar will break the seal around your ear and sound will still leak through it. Unless you get 
a really thick padding around the headphones that you're using, it's just not going to work. And the work tunes did not work out for me, and I ended up returning them. Um, even when I took my glasses off and put them on, what happened was the sound of the motor was still louder than anything that came through the work tunes earphones. So they just didn't work in my situation. Uh, what I do is I have a, uh, a mowing and fertilizing business and when the mower is constantly rumbling behind you all day, you just can't deal with something that you have to turn up louder than that because you're still damaging your ears if the music is as loud as the mower and it's not cutting all that sound out. Um, so what I tried was getting some, they were 28 decibel earmuffs that went over top of these. And what these do, these are Bluetooth earphones. They stick in your ear and they see the little rubber piece seals around it. And then I'll put the headphones over top of that. The good ones, not the work tunes. The work tunes just didn't work out for me. I still got a little bit of the leakage through the glasses, but they were softer and plusher, so it sealed it a little bit better. Um, it worked, but the problem with these cheaper earbuds is that these only last for about an hour and a half, and then you have to charge them again. I think they were $15, so it was worth a try. I don't even know what the brand is. Let me see if I can see. No, it's not even written on here. That's how cheap they are. <laughs> so I can't recommend those anyways. So I went back to these and just dealt without having podcasts or music in my ears during the day. It got a little old. Uh, what I ended up doing was investing in, now these are called Aftershocks Air, Aftershock Air. And what they are, they're wireless bone conducting headphones. What they do is they go over your ear like this and it touches that little cheekbone you have right there. And it vibrates that and that goes into your auditory canal. And then what I did was I still use these, which are the best because they actually cut out 33 decibels. Even when you have headphones, it's anywhere from 22 to 27 or 28. It's not as good. Now, when you put these in and you get the minus 33, it protects your hearing, but you could still hear through the vibrations on your bone. And these work very well. These will last more than a full day on one charge. So I was very, very pleased with these. Very happy with them. Um, this is what I suggest. I'll put a link to this down below. Really enjoy these. They work very, very well. Uh, I was doing some more experimenting though, and I found these clear flow headphones. They're also Bluetooth. And they are supposed to last 20 hours of playtime on a charge. And from what I could tell, they actually do. These are soft enough where they'll fit over your glasses. And they have both passive from this and active noise reduction. These are very nice. Um, it's a little bit less noise or a little bit less than these. Um, you can still hear a little bit of the mower through this, but the active noise reduction actually does help a lot. I was very pleased with these. Um, they're long lasting on a charge and they sound amazing. Um, that's another thing with the aftershocks. What do I do with them? Another thing with these, uh, this is not audiophile quality. 
but it's good for podcasts. And once your ears get used to hearing through the bone in your head, bone head um, your brain kind of takes over and interpolates the sounds. Um, you're not going to hear subtleties, uh, but it gets the job done. And these are the ones I use every day. I'm very pleased with them, but I'm also very, very pleased with the sound quality of these clear flow headphones. They're very excellent. Um, I got them on uh, the Black Friday sale. It was uh, almost 50% off, and they also give you a coupon for 10% off of that. If you put your email in when when it pops up on the website uh, clearaudio.com very pleased with these but these are the ones i suggest for long-term work just because you get to use the flints with it and it cuts out all that extra noise yep definitely and it, these also work great for the little button on the side if you get a phone call you just click that and it switches over to the phone call you can hear everything that someone's saying even with your earplugs in but i really wanted to get that because i thought that was a very very important topic to cover um, and we're going to get back into the electronics real soon here i uh, still have the uh, fender basement to finish up and we're going to jump right into a clon uh, I have a friend that wants me to build one for him, so we're going to get that uh, build up in Eagle next. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's my favorite pedal. It, it just it sounds great, and I use it all the time. I just really hope you'll take my advice and really protect your ears at work. Um, I just think it's one of the most important things because music's important. To all our lives. So I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.